Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul and I am once again thrilled to show you the things that I was able to pick up. So I'm just gonna get started so that the video isn't too long for you guys. So I think I will start with the Valentine's Day items. Of course, as I mentioned in my previous video, they're starting to put things out slowly, kind of like a couple things at a time. So it's always fun to pop into the store and see what they've put out. So this time around, I picked up some of the window clings and I actually get these to put on my uh, mirrors in the bathroom. The kids really enjoy them and it's nice that you can swap them out for pretty much every holiday. So the first one I got has the sloths and llamas on it. And I just thought they were really cute and that my kids would enjoy those. And then I did pick up the one with the food as well. And they're just super sweet. They have the cute little sayings. And whenever it's food, I just think that's really fun. So I picked those up once again to go on my bathroom mirrors. Then I did pick up two of the Valentine's Day cards by Voila. I hauled a bunch of the Christmas ones and I absolutely love them. I think they're so well done and for $1.25 it is such a fantastic deal. This one's sweet, it's a very popular phrase right now. I love you to the moon and back. And it's got the two little bears sitting there gazing up the moon. Inside it says, today and always, I want you to know how very much you are loved. Happy Valentine's Day with love. And of course, they come with the envelope as well. Then I did pick up this one and it says, I'm bananas for you with that sweet little monkey. Happy Valentine's Day to someone who is playful and funny and so easy to love. So, so far those are the only two that I grabbed. The store that I went to, the display had already kind of been picked over, so I'm still keeping my eye out for some of the other ones that I've seen other people haul, uh, but so far those are the only ones I got. Then I did get a couple of candles for, I guess, Valentine's Day or for the spring. They're more lighter scents, I guess. Uh, this one is called Pinkalicious, and it's fun and flirty is what it says. Um, it's very light. It's a nice pink color of course for Valentine's Day and the jars are really sweet. Uh, Pinkalicious is actually um, my daughter's favorite book. There's a storybook called Pinkalicious uh, so I actually got this for her. She likes it when I light candles so I thought we could do this uh, together in the evening while we're doing like story time and that. Then I did get the red one Again, single wick candles, and this one is Cherish, and it's red velvet. And these are all by the Star Candle Company. So they're not by Old Williamsburg, which is normally the candles that Dollar Tree puts out. And this one is a Love, and it's Blackberry, and it's almost like a, a nice purple color. And they all have a really nice smell to them. All a little bit different but like I said really nice and light more of like a spring vibe at least for me and then I did pick up two decor pieces to uh, go with my Valentine's Day shelfscape I'm not sure if these are like new um, this season or if they're actually just being brought back from last year but I thought they were nice this one says love and of course the heart is the O and it's in this very like pale pink metallic. They also had it in a red, a silver, and I believe a gold. And then I got this, which is like the double hearts. And, and I got that in the red. And again, it had it in the multiple colors as well. But I thought that these two actually complemented each other really nicely. And that's it that I got for Valentine's Day. Like I said, we're... Uh, they're slowly putting it out and I'm just slowly picking it up when I see something that I like so that way I know that I'm able to get it and don't have to worry about it not being there when I go back. Okay, the other thing that I'm really excited to share with you guys is a bunch of fairy garden items. The only thing is I'm not sure if these are a new line that are being put out and I just haven't seen anyone else haul them yet or maybe this is last year's um, like line and they're just bringing it back out. So these actually say Fairy Garden and they're the Forest series. So I picked up a couple of those items. 
The first one I got is this little house and it's in the shape of a pine cone, which I thought was absolutely adorable. And all the ones in this series say the same thing. So on the bottom, they do say fairy garden and then here says forest. Then I got this little yellow house with the leaf on top that has a cute little ladybug and it does say welcome above the door. Then I got this one, which I believe is supposed to be like a little flower, nice purple petals up top. And again, it does say welcome above the door. And then the last one I got, which is my absolute favorite, is actually a cactus. And it's got the little flower up top. It does say it's part of the forest um, line as well. I'm not really sure if a cactus goes with a forest theme, but I thought it was really sweet. Um, I actually have cacti as like my, I guess, generic everyday decor when I don't have my shelfscape uh, done up uh, for a specific holiday or season. So right now I actually have all my cacti back out. So, so I thought that this would be nice to kind of add to it. And then I would use the other houses for when it comes closer to spring. The only thing I do want to mention though is that the cactus one is the only one that is painted really, really well. And almost every single one of these was painted really, really nicely. However, these houses here, you do have to be very careful because the way they're painted varies from one to the next. Um, some of them the door wasn't painted, some of them the stones wasn't painted, or it was painted like part of the door color. Um, some of them had like specks of paint like throughout the pine cone that was a different color. Like a lot of them seem like really, really rushed. But if you take your time and look through them, you are able to find ones that look really nice. I just happened to notice that the cactus ones are done like really, really well in comparison to all the others, but still I thought they were really sweet, especially for $1.25 a piece to make your own little setup. It's a pretty good deal. Then I did pick up this cute little bench to go along with the houses and it's kind of got this floral decor up top. I got two of these little picket fences, well log fences I guess, with the flowers wrapped around it. I got this sweet little bridge. Then I got these two little hedgehogs sitting on like a log seesaw and they both have fruit in their hands which I just thought was so cute. And then I did pick up some of the figurines as well. I wasn't personally a fan of the fairies, but I did like the gnomes. And I think that's pretty good that you get three little gnomes in a package for $1.25. Then I also got this one which has a, I think it's a deer, a bunny and a little cardinal. I just thought those were really, really sweet. And then the last one I got has a hedgehog, an owl, and a turtle. And look at the turtle with his little pink flower on his shell. Isn't he just the sweetest? So I'm really excited to put together like a little shellscape with those for the springtime. And then I did get one more item to go along with the little fairy garden I'm putting together, or I guess in my case, a gnome garden. And once again, like I said, I'm not sure if this is new for this year and I just haven't seen anyone haul it or if this whole line is from last season. But I did find a red truck. And again, it does say fairy garden and it says forest on the bottom. So it is all part of the same line. But I just thought that was so cute and with it being so popular for pretty much every holiday since last fall, um, I thought it would be really nice to kind of be able to continue that um, into the spring as well. And then I did get the little camper that goes along with it. So I thought to sit those together on the shelfscape would look really, really nice. So again, if these are new, super exciting. And if they are from last season, 
I'm okay with that. I didn't see them, they weren't at my stores, or I just wasn't looking in my stores at that particular time, but I think these are absolutely adorable. Then I did grab a couple beauty health items, I guess. Uh, these are the Firefly toothbrushes, and these are in the Disney um, theme. So you get the little Disney, I never say this right, Zoom Zoom, Zum Zum characters. Um, I think they're so sweet though, and my daughter has a blanket of them, and she absolutely is in love with it, so I thought that she would really like these. These are your best bang for your buck when it comes to toothbrushes for kids. Uh, sometimes Firefly will put out just like the two pack, um, but you got to keep an eye out for the three pack because it's definitely your best deal. And I mean, they don't last like an amazingly long time, but with younger kids, you need to be changing them out a little bit more frequently because they tend to be a little bit harder on them or they might end up dropping them where they shouldn't drop them. I know my kids have accidentally like tossed them in the garbage before, so it's always good to have some extra ones on hand. Then I found these really pretty scrunchies. They're just called Fashion Accessories. I believe it's just a green briar brand. It says manufacturer is Sign or Sin, S-I-E-N, and it's distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories out of New York. So it's not a green briar product, but they are really, really pretty. And it's like this nice, really soft velvet material. And look at that gorgeous, almost like cranberry red. It's really, really pretty. Would have been really nice for Christmas, but still nice now as well. Then they just had it in a black. And then this really pretty midnight blue. They're really, really nice. They've got a good amount of stretch to them. So I think they'll be really nice for even thicker hair. So I got those for my daughter because she absolutely loves wearing uh, scrunchies and that in her hair. Then I did get one household item, which is more picture frames. As I keep mentioning, I am working on my gallery wall. And the last time I hauled these frames, I did the same thing. I got uh, one of each of the like stains of the wood. One was dark and one was lighter. So I wanted two of each. So I picked up one more of each of the colors. They thankfully got them back in stock. I'm trying to do my gallery wall somewhat symmetrical. So it's the same on both sides. So I needed another one of each of the colors. I love this one. Um, it's one of my favorites. It almost looks like driftwood and it just looks really nice and it complements my wall really, really nicely. So I was happy they finally got these back in stock. And then I did get one auto supply, but I'm not going to be using this in my car. Uh, this is the Armorall Essential Blends Car Air Freshener, and it just comes with like a little hanging thing. I do actually use these in my car as well. I hang them off the rear view mirror, but what I use these for as well is in my garbage can. Underneath the bag at the back of mine I have like a little hook and I just hang it over there and I find it keeps my garbage can smelling nice and fresh Which is always a nice thing especially if you um, Aren't like a large household and you don't go through garbage that often and don't empty it that frequently This kind of cuts down on any smells that might start to accumulate and I typically only change it out I guess like once a month so it lasts me about four weeks, which is pretty good especially when you're only paying $1.25 and this time around, I did get lemon bergamot, which I thought was a nice citrusy smell and would be good for the kitchen. So whether you use these in your kitchen or your car, they are really, really great. Then I did manage to find two more Crayola products. In my last haul, I did show you quite a few that I had found and I was excited to find even more. So these are the color and stickers and I did pop into Walmart right after and they're selling these for $4.97 and I got Fancy Nancy and Shimmer and Shine. So these are still two very popular shows, at least with my girls they are and you get the coloring pages and you get the stickers in each of them. 
it says you get four pages of stickers and it works out to be about 150 plus stickers in both. So that is absolutely amazing. This is such a great find for Dollar Tree. Like I mentioned previously, I normally pick up the Crayola products from Dollarama and they can range anywhere from two to $4. So to be able to get them for $1.25 is a fantastic deal. So if you have kids in your life or um, you have uh, nephews or nieces or you babysit for kids or your teacher, pick these up. These are absolutely fantastic deals. Then I did find two just regular books as well. This one is really nice. It's more like a coffee table type book, one you would leave out and just kind of flip through. And it's all about dogs. It says live, love, bark. And I actually got this for my friend for her birthday. She has four dogs. She's a big dog lover. So I thought this would be nice to put aside for her. And inside all it is is images of cute little puppy dogs and then a saying that goes along with it. So do one thing every day that scares you. Kind of like one of those inspirational, motivational books. And this one here, uh, We Are Dreamers of Dreams. And look at that sleepy puppy. I just thought it was really cute. Um, they actually covered the price, so I'm not sure what it was originally, but this is a nice like hardback book, probably anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks originally. So for $1.25, this is such a steal. I always recommend you check out your book section at both Dollar Tree and Dollarama. You can find some really great things. Then I picked this up to go along with the gift I am giving um, for a new baby that's uh, coming near the mid-January, end of January, sometime around there. I'm going to be throwing this in the gift bag as well. I hauled a couple things for the baby in a previous video and did mention that I'm going to be doing a diaper cake video as well. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But this is just to go in her little bag and it says stuff every mom should know and it's just this cute little book it says that um, it has things like how to swaddle a baby 15 birthday party survival tips the truth about potty training the miracle of white noise comebacks for unsolicited parenting advice just like a cute little fun read and it was originally 10.95 in canada and it's just a nice little like pocket size you could throw it in your purse you could throw it in your diaper bag just a little thing to read through, little tips and tricks. Some of them are meant to be funny, just to, you know, um, relieve some of the everyday stress that comes from being a new mom. I just thought that was sweet and a little added something to put in there. And then the last thing I picked up are actually little games. So I had never seen these before. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't put these out before Christmas because we do a couple game nights over the holidays, but we'll still use these later on in the year. And these are really fun. They are by Games Hub, but it is um, imported by Greenbrier. So it's a Greenbrier product. And this one is trivia, but it's all about the 90s. So I was definitely a 90s kid. I was born in 88. So I grew up in the 90s, so I thought that this would be a lot of fun to do with my uh, two closest friends. We're all the same age, so we'll have hopefully some knowledge of these questions anyways. I find trivia games are really frustrating, especially if they're on topics that you have no idea about. So this one should be good for us. Then I also got one that is Movie Madness which I thought would be good. They give you an example on the back and it's of like a recent movie. So it's not outdated or anything like that. And then the last one is called Either This or That and it's the game of hilarious predicaments. So you have to choose like one thing or the other. So example is be able to shower once a year or be able to brush your teeth one a once a year. So you have to choose between like two bad options and choose like the lesser of two evils this one would definitely be good probably with uh, some you know special drinks to go along with it make it a little bit more fun and laughable um but anyways i thought that this would be a fun um new finds for game night so if you are a um, person who enjoys game nights with friends or even just sitting around at home with older kids would do this too. They all say that the recommended age is 12 plus, but I believe you could probably play this with younger kids as well. 
especially the one with the movie, they will probably know more than I do. So I have no problem playing that with my kids. The 90s, definitely not. They won't know anything from there. But the movie one, we could definitely do all together. All right, so that is it for my haul. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. I did want to say thank you to everyone who watched my first uh, Dollar Tree haul of 2020. It actually has, I think, like over 550 views, which is so amazing to me. I am blown away by that. It is my most watched video that I have posted to date, so that was super exciting. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I do hope that um, if you are new to my channel that you definitely do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks so much guys and I hope you have an amazing week.